ഗുഡ് ഈവനിങ് ആൾ എല്ലാവർക്കും ക്രിസ്റ്റലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം വെൽക്കം ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഹാവിങ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദി വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് സെഷൻ റിഗാർഡിങ് യു ജി സി നെറ്റ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ആസ് യു ഗൈസ് നോ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഈസ് ഓൺ ദ വേ ആൻഡ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ഓൺ വെരി വെൽ വിൽ ബി പ്രൊവൈഡിങ് സം ഓഫ് ദി വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ടിപ്സ് ആൻഡ് അപ്രോച്ചസ് ദാറ്റ് യു ഷുഡ് ടേക്ക് ഇൻ ദ ഫൈനൽ സ്റ്റേജ് ഓഫ് യുവർ പ്രിപ്പറേഷൻ മീനിങ് ബിഫോർ യു ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ദിസ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഹാൾ make sure that you are having this much of idea and clarity regarding this examination as well as this prep paper 1 preparation so in this particular session we'll be giving some of the very important tips and ideas that you should follow as part of your paper 1 preparation engane namku paper 1 ne krithyamayittu padikkam ennaladinde ennaladine kalapparthotta avasana samayathottu paper 1 il endekke karyangal ningal shraddhichirikkanam ennaladana parayan vendi povunnathu as part of that let me share one particular screen of the screen is visible to you guys of the screen is visible to you so if it is visible just to do let me know uh, by commenting in the session use the live chat you can comment via live chat whether it is visible or not so dear students will be having some kind of mix of communication like we'll be using both english as well as malayalam since some students are uh, learning from out of state meaning kerala thinu porame padikuna chila kutikal crystal undu especially history porulla subjectsil നമ്മൾ ഓൾ ഇന്ത്യ ലെവലിൽ കോച്ചിങ് കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ കൊടുക്കുന്നുണ്ട് എന്നുള്ള കാര്യം ഒന്ന് അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കുക സോ ഇഫ് സം ഓഫ് യുവർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആർ ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ സജസ്റ്റ് ക്രിസ്റ്റൽ ഹിസ്റ്ററി പ്രോഗ്രാം ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി അഫോർഡബിൾ ഇൻ നേച്ചർ ആസ് വെൽ സോ ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ലെറ്റ് മീ ഗെറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ടുഡേ സെഷൻ യു ജി സി നെറ്റ് പേപ്പർ വൺ സം ഓഫ് ദി വെരി മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ടിപ്സ് ദാറ്റ് യു ഷുഡ് ഗൈസ് നോ ദിസ് ഈസ് സംതിങ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ അപ്പിയറിംഗ് ഫോർ ദിസ് നെറ്റ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ so dear students let me get you uh, with this particular thing before starting with that one let me introduce something so ugc net jr preparation le oru paadu kuttigalu neridunna prashnangalil onnana time kittathadinte oru prashnam obviously chalpam college padanathinte kudayo allengile joriyude kudaye irikku net examination preparation nadathunnathu allengile financial issues ulla kuttigalu undayaka ഇവരെ പരിഗണിച്ചുകൊണ്ടാണ് ക്രിസ്റ്റലിന്റെ മെന്റർഷിപ്പ് ബാച്ച് കൂടുന്നത് മെന്റർഷിപ്പ് ബാച്ചിന്റെ ഫീസും കാര്യങ്ങളും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റും ഹിസ്റ്ററി കൊമേഴ്സ് മലയാളം പേപ്പർ വൺ സബ്ജക്ടുകളിൽ വളരെ അഫോർഡബിൾ ആയ രൂപത്തിലോട്ടും മെന്റേഴ്സിന്റെ ഗൈഡോട് കൂടെ അതിന്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് വളരെ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട സെഷൻസിന്റെ എല്ലാം ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ വഴി റെക്കോർഡ് സെഷൻസ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അവൈലബിൾ ആയിരിക്കും സെൽഫ് സ്റ്റഡി പ്ലാൻ അവൈലബിൾ ആയിരിക്കും ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് നടക്കും വീക്കിലി ഷെഡ്യൂൾ നൽകിക്കൊണ്ട് പഠിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ട് അതിനടിസ്ഥാനത്തിൽ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് പ്രാക്ടീസ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് സെഷൻസിന്റെ ലൈവ് സെഷൻസ് കൊടുത്തുകൊണ്ട് നെറ്റ് ജാർ ഓഫ് ക്വാളിഫൈ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്ന ഫാക്കൾട്ടീസിന്റെ ഗേഡ്ഷിപ്പ് ഉള്ള പ്രോഗ്രാമിനാണ് മെന്റർഷിപ്പ് ബാച്ച് എന്ന് വിളിക്കുന്നത് യഥാക്രമം ഹിസ്റ്ററിക്ക് മൂവായിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി തൊണ്ണൂറ്റി ഒമ്പത് വിത്ത് ഇൻസ്റ്റാൾമെന്റ് കൊമേഴ്സ് മലയാളം പേപ്പർ വൺ ഇതെല്ലാം വളരെ അഫോർഡബിൾ ആയിട്ട് ക്രിസ്റ്റലിൽ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഈ വീഡിയോ കാണുന്ന നിങ്ങളും നിങ്ങളുടെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സുകളോട്ടൊക്കെ എത്തിച്ചു കൊടുക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ശ്രമിക്കാം അതേസമയത്ത് ഫുള്ളി ലൈവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ക്രിസ്റ്റലിന്റെ ഹിസ്റ്ററി ബാച്ച് ഉണ്ട് ഫുൾ ലൈവ് സെഷൻസ് ആണ് അതിൽ കൂടുതൽ കയറി വരുന്നത് വളരെ കോംപ്രഹൻസീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ബാച്ച് ആണ് ഒമ്പതിനായിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി തൊണ്ണൂറ്റി ഒമ്പത് രൂപയാണ് അതിന്റെ ഫീസ് എന്നുള്ള അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കുക അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ആർക്കും താല്പര്യമുള്ള ആൾക്കാരാണെങ്കിൽ ഓഫീസ് നമ്പറുമായിട്ട് കോൺടാക്ട് ചെയ്യുക സെവൻ ഫൈവ് നയൻ ത്രീ ഡബിൾ എയ്റ്റ് ഡബിൾ ഫൈവ് ഡബിൾ ത്രീ സോ അലോങ് വിത്ത് ദിസ് ലെറ്റ് മീ ഇൻഫോം യു വൺ തിങ് ദാറ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് ചെക്ക് ദ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ബോക്സ് ഓഫ് ക്രിസ്റ്റൽ ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ വീഡിയോ യു ക്യാൻ സി ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ലിങ്ക്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ടെലിഗ്രാം ചാനൽസ് ഇൻ വിച്ച് യു ക്യാൻ സി ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് അപ്ഡേറ്റ്സ് ആസ് വെൽ so you will get such kind of information anyhow let me get you through our particular today session that is our webinar so dear students most importantly you guys know you have two papers are going to appear like you will be having paper 1 plus paper 2 totally you will be having a 3 hour a live session like this you will be appearing before one particular system or one computer and you have to sit for the next 3 hours and appear for the examination this is a final uh thing that you can do right so as part of that you have ugc net paper 1 and in which will be there will be having 50 questions and will be asked 100 marks for this particular examination and you will get around 1 hour so totally you have 3 hours of time and there is no division like the first one hour or the second one hour or the third one hour will be for paper 1 you will be totally provided with 3 hours and you can choose wisely you whether you have to start with the paper 1 or
are you ready and are you clear with what all things i'm saying i uh, hope the mixing of malayalam and english won't be having such uh, disturbances or understanding issue for you it is very uh, understandable i think it will be very understandable fine yes if that is okay and fine the most important thing is the syllabus itself without syllabus uh, don't expect much uh, return or ma much mark in your upcoming examination so understanding the syllabus that is something very important for this examination that is something very important for this examination okay so the syllabus as you guys know there are 10 units basically there are basically 10 units uh, let me just to go through the syllabus because already you guys know one is teaching aptitude a uh, research aptitude definitely you can expect around 10 questions from this particular unit then comes comprehension there will be five questions communication mathematical reasoning and aptitude data interpretation from both of this unit 5 and 7 you can expect 10 questions minimum logical reasoning you can expect around 5 plus questions sometimes or less than sometimes five sometimes information and communication technology connect unit 4 that is communication as well as ict along you can expect around 10 questions from that reach finally people development and environment higher education system totally there will be 10 questions similarly there will be what five questions each and finally there will be at there will be 50 questions having some kind of variations definitely there will be having some kind of variations in the uh, number of questions being asked for this a uh, unit sometimes in teaching aptitude sometimes you can expect four questions but there will be six questions from here so there will be some kind of proportionality or understandability of questions but make sure that these are your 10 units and you can expect 50 questions definitely so dear students without this syllabus you cannot go to this examination hall so it's a humble request if you are a serious ugc net aspirant make sure that you have already prepared these topics very well at least uh, just covering the syllabus so you will be able to answer around 40 questions that meaning what 80 marks as of now based on the current syllabus and things there is no negative marking and there is no new syllabus adding so this syllabus and this learning will be definitely helping you to clear around 80 marks or to secure around 80 marks this 80 marks is definitely a pathway for your jrf journey so just to try to understand this much of info okay and why we are discussing this syllabus or what's the uh, significance of syllabus nothing else guys just to try to answer this particular question i am waiting for you everyone in this particular session make sure that you are attempting this particular question the experimental study is based on meaning this is a question from a uh, research aptitude right a research aptitude now just to try to answer this particular question guys everyone what will be your answer so then only you will be able to understand why the significance is uh, why the syllabus is that much significant because this question is being asked directly from the syllabus the experimental study meaning one one method of research that should be based on which of the following options you have four options guys make sure that you are commenting this is something your last final preparation and tips so no one leaves without uh, any commenting or uh, simply sitting and watching what the sir is actually saying but make sure that you are learning you are revising and you are answering such kind of questions because finally at the end of the day ultimately you have to answer the questions right so make sure that you are answering i'm waiting for your response guys
Yeah, so the options are very simple, like the experimental method of study are based on what? The manipulation of variables, conceptual parameters, or replication of research, survey of literature. So the question is very simple. It's something experimental, meaning what? I am having this particular bottle with me and I am having one, uh, what, one particular uh, solution or liquid format like uh, something called as lemongrass or something. I'm going to mix in a different proportion. So there will be differences, right? So what will be the answer for such kind of experiments? Whether it is conceptual parameters? No. Replication of research? Replication is similarly repeating. Survey of literature? No. Something we are manipulating certain variables to get a different or new result. That is simply called as research or experimentation. That's why the answer will be option A. So the answer will be option A. You got it? So this is something very basic learning. So if it is correct for you, make sure that you are in the right track. If it is not correct for you, understand that you have to go with the syllabus again and again before you are appearing for the final examination. Okay. And here is another question. This is also one conceptually clarified related question. So the question is very simple, an example of asynchronous medium. So it's a medium of communication, right? Because we have radio, television, film, newspaper, all are in the one sense. Like they are some giving some kind of communication to us. Now, just to tell me guys, what will be the answer for this particular question? You have been asked like an example of asynchronous medium. Definitely, you guys know when we are discussing question, questions, we'll be speaking in English only. Why? Because you have to appear the question paper either in Hindi or in English. So that's why we'll be depending on English medium. So then a, an example of asynchronous medium. So definitely you will be having another thought like there will be synchronous as well as asynchronous medium of communication. So how you can answer such kind of question? I'm waiting for your responses. So make sure that you are commenting such kind of questions in your uh, comment session. I'm waiting for you. So you have four options like radio, television, film, and newspaper. So the basic point, how to answer such kind of questions. That's why I'm saying, beyond your uh, learning of syllabus, just to try to learn how you can crack that particular question as well. So just to think uh, radio, television, film, all these, are, all these are having some kind of verbal communication, right? Some sound communication. Some technologies behind that one. But among this, this option, newspaper is something different or something odd one. All others are having some kind of similarities. But newspaper is something odd one. Simply verbs are produced in words in a page of sheet. So the answer is option D. So these all are synchronous radio, television, and film. And this is something asynchronous medium of communication corresponded to other options, right? Yes. So the answer is option D. So this method can also be adopted for you. Like just to try to identify when you while you are answering certain questions, look for the best option. How you are going to identify the best option? Just try to eliminate others. And for that, just to try to uh, identify the old one or the most least possible one from the options and go for the answers. This is some kind of practice that you should have. And we are already had many paper one mock test, unit test in classroom as well as open test program. We have, we have done many programs, definitely.
So this is a final step that you have to have some kind of sharpening of your weapon. For that, just to try to understand this particular question. Hope the discussion is clear. Is that clear? Okay, fine, fine. Okay, if that is clear, let me take you to another question. So this is a communication based type question. Now you have, yeah, ICT based question. Definitely there will be some kind of, uh, you will be provided with a certain acronym or abbreviation and you have to find the explanatory uh, details of, about that particular thing. So here is a one particular question. The acronym FTP stands for. All the four options will be feeling something very similar. But there you have to have a clear-cut clear learning of this ICT terminologies. And guys, just to try to answer this question, what is your best answer? What is your chance? Go for it. Go for it. Everyone should comment in the comment session, right? Do not miss out. I'm waiting for your response. Yes, please make it fast. Make it faster. Make it faster. Okay, okay. The answer for this particular question, FTP, that is something regarding file. Second one is transfer. And it's a protocol. So answer is option A. So make sure that before you are going to this examination hall, you have just revised at least all the most important abbreviations and acronyms that we have provided in the classroom. We have provided one particular list of abbreviations that you should know at least. And as well as we had some very important sessions on this ICT in our YouTube. YouTube, ICT, the basics of computer, there is a YouTube video. Something very, very important. That's why you can't learn ICT. That's why we upload this video on YouTube. If you have a YouTube channel, there are many videos already. Definitely you can expect a question from there also. So that's it. That's it. That's it. That's Which of the following is not a greenhouse gas environment related question guys? Something very science oriented. Sometimes you will get science oriented questions since this environmental science is something related to science, right? So go for this particular question. Answer this. So what will be the answer for this uh, greenhouse gas? Definitely you guys know greenhouse gas, something uh, related to the environment topic and climate change, as well as this greenhouse gas will protect something uh, regarding that is going to affect this global warming. And we have something like nitrous oxide, chloro fluorocarbons, and methane as some of the very important greenhouse gases. And this is something, something, Ethane is not a greenhouse gas, 
so these are some very basic information learned that nitrous oxide chlorofluorocarbons methane all are something related to greenhouse gas something very important guys okay so this is something you should know let me uh, yeah so so far we had discussion of some of the very important questions we have discussed for very important questions this is why you should learn the syllabus very well that's why that's my point that's why i showed you some of the very important questions okay so as part of that now the most important thing while you are preparing for this uh, ugc net examination as well as you are appearing for this uh, examination in paper one as well as paper two this is something very important time management guys maybe your examination will be on upcoming days or some of some more days you'll get time management is something very important finally go for only thing called as revision plus this can be done either you are learning through your content or book either you can revise through mcqs that's your choice so revision is the only key that you can adopt as a time management tool in the last days of examination or in the final preparation stages. So focus on this element revision. For revision, you should be able to have a detailed understanding about the syllabus. That is something very important. Okay. So revision either through content or MCQS practices, that is something very, very important. Time management is something very important. Not only before examination, during the examination as well. So during the examination, as I said, you have one hour for this paper one. So make sure that if you are confident only in paper one, just invest that one hour in the initial, in the beginning period of examination. Otherwise, just postpone to the last day. So you have to think whether you have to start, begin, or you have to keep that one hour to the last hours of one hour for your paper one. That's up to your preparation. So it's only you guys know whether or how much you have so far prepared in paper one. Okay. So these are something very important in time management. And if you are starting your examination with paper one, make sure that you are attending all the questions in 45 minutes, not even one hour. Just decide, just decide like that. Why you know? Then you cannot exploit your time 45 minutes then you have to jump into your paper two and finally you will get much more time either for your paper one or paper two if you are having a serious preparation or if you are having a serious attempt in the examination or so if you are dedicating your fine first one hour for paper one make sure that you are completing that paper one in 45 minutes maybe you will be able to answer only 45 questions no worries but you will get another 15 minutes in the last to answer 20 questions. And definitely these 20 questions will be something will be tougher for you. So you can either just uh, try to have another reading and reach to answer. Otherwise, finally, make sure that you are attending all the questions. So if you are having 150 questions, definitely you have 150 questions both from uh, paper one as well as paper two. Make sure that while you are ending your examination, you have attended all 150 questions. That is something very important. Guys, there is no negative marking now, but may, uh, sometimes as part of the reforms in the future, you can expect negative marking. So before that, make sure that you are doing all these 150 attempts now itself. Hope you will you be doing that. Guys, will you do that? 150 questions attempt? Give me yes. I want that yes because I know last time some of the students who missed this net or JRF that was because of their uh, lack of attempts. They reduced the num their number of attempts. That was a situation. So that should not be the situation this time. So make sure that you will be attempting all the 150 questions. Will you be doing that? Yes or no? or no
yes yes okay fine okay that should be your approach these are some of the things that you should do during your examination now let me take some of the very important chapters of this paper one for some uh, basic clarity guys don't miss out these two chapters comprehension and communication this these are some of the very these are some of the very uh, easy okay these are some of the very easy chapters from paper one that you can score you will be having five questions from here at least five questions from here meaning what you will get around 15 to 20 marks from this units itself comprehension and communication teaching and research are some of the very co co uh, what uh, core topics of this paper one uh, beyond that comprehension one uh, particular english paragraph will be provided and you have to answer all following five questions so uh, finally if you are having at least three days for your net examination just practice reading comprehension passages daily we have provided many passages and focus on summarizing and identifying the main ideas meaning identify the central theme of the question first of all first understand while you are learning or reading that particular paragraph we had different methods how you have to read uh, comprehension we had many discussions both open discussions as well as class group discussion so first identify the central theme of the uh, paragraph that is something very important okay so comprehension don't miss out guys if you have three days make sure that all in all these three days you have practiced this comprehension daily on daily basis. Community communication, understand the basic concept, something very important with examples. Examples are something very important. Then only you will be able to answer. As we had this uh, asynchronous method of communication we had, right? And you have been provided with the options like examples. So that is also something very, very important. Okay, that is something very, very important. So coming to another set, mathematical aptitude and data interpretation. This is something very important because most of the aspirants, guys, just to tell me how many of you, just to tell me how many of you have some kind of fear in answering mathematical as well as data interpretation be, because uh, being a non-science or non-mathematical background student, either you will be having a BA or MA background, or BCom background, meaning you are not affiliated or related to this mathematical or science background. So that's why you will be having some kind of confusion or some kind of difficulty in answering mathematical and data interpretation questions that will be minimum in 10 number, meaning what 10 into 2, 20 questions again, uh, 20 marks again, 20 marks again. Such an area is what mathematical aptitude and data interpretation. That's why I'm asking you how many of you have that fear? How many of you have that fear? Just to tell me, then only I'll be able to help you. Uh, just to type fear. <laughs> In that sense, just to type fear. Yeah, definitely some of the students will be having. So, dear students, for you, make sure that you are attending these questions only in the last minute of your examination. Meaning, if you are having three hours, you definitely the last 30 minutes should be for what just revising only or just to check if i missed any questions that moment only just to focus on this kind of questions don't take the initial 10 or 15 minutes to answer mathematical as well as data interpretation questions some students will be answer my mind will be clear then then i'll be able to do don't do that because initially focus on the strong areas answering the strong areas only if you are weak in this mathematical and data interpretation areas, make sure that you are placing that questions in the last 30 minutes only. Is that clear, guys? Is that clear? Yes or no? Okay. So the point is that Initially, always focus on your strong areas and then you can confidently answer most of the questions. If you are weak in mathematics as well as that interpretation, make sure that you are putting that questions in the for the last minutes of 30 minutes or something like that, that you are getting after uh, answering the paper one as well as paper two questions. Okay, that should be the area. 
ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഒരു കാര്യം കൂടെ ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളോട് പറയാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുകയാണ് ഈ മാക്സിമം ഡാറ്റ ഇന്റർപ്രിറ്റേഷനും ഇന്ത്യയിലെ എല്ലാ കോമ്പറ്റേറ്റീവ് എക്സാമിനേഷനും വരുന്നത് ഒന്നാണ് അപ്പോൾ അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ മാത്സ് എന്നുള്ളത് പല ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ട് വരുന്ന കുട്ടികൾക്കും ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുള്ള കാര്യമാണ് സയൻസുകാർക്കും അറിയാം എന്ന കോമ്പറ്റീവ് എക്സാമിലോട്ട് വരുമ്പോൾ പലപ്പോഴും പല കുട്ടികളും അതിലും ബുദ്ധിമുട്ട് വാറുണ്ട് അല്ലാത്ത സബ്ജക്റ്റിൽപ്പെട്ട എല്ലാവർക്കും അത് ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടാറുണ്ട് അത് യു ജി സി നെറ്റ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ആവട്ടെ കോമ്പറ്റീവ് എക്സാംസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഇപ്പോൾ യു പി എസ് സി സിവിൽ സർവീസ് ആവട്ടെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ബാങ്ക് എക്സാംസ് ആവട്ടെ എസ് എസ് സി ആവട്ടെ കേരള പി എസ് സി നടത്തുന്ന എക്സാംസ് ആവട്ടെ ഇങ്ങനത്തെ ഏതൊരു എക്സാമിനേഷനും മാത്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റേറ്റീവ് ആപ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് എന്ന രൂപത്തിലോട്ട് വരുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ അതിന്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് ക്രിസ്ത്യന്റെ ഒരു പുതിയ ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റീവ് വരുന്നുണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് മാത്സ് അക്കാഡമി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് നമ്മളത് ലെവൽ വണ്ണും ലെവൽ ടു ആയിട്ട് രണ്ട് ലെവലിലാ പഠിപ്പിക്കാം ലെവൽ വണ്ണിലുള്ള ഒരു കുട്ടികൾ അതായത് തുടക്കക്കാരായിട്ടുള്ള എല്ലാവർക്കും വേണ്ടി ഒരു പതിനഞ്ചോളം വരുന്ന യൂണിറ്റുകൾ നിങ്ങൾക്കറിയാം നമ്പർ സിസ്റ്റം ഉണ്ട് നമ്പർ സീരീസ് ഉണ്ട് ആവറേജ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് റേഷ്യോ പ്രൊപ്പോഷൻ ഇങ്ങനെ കുറെ ടോപ്പികൾ ഉണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ പതിനഞ്ചോളം വരുന്ന യൂണിറ്റുകളുടെ ആദ്യം ബേസിക്സ് ക്ലിയർ ആക്കി തരുന്നതാണ് ലെവൽ വൺ ലെവൽ വൺ പാസ്സാകുന്ന കുട്ടികൾക്ക് മാത്രമേ ലെവൽ ടൂലോട്ട് അഡ്മിഷൻ ഉണ്ടാവുള്ളൂ അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനത്തെ ഒരു പ്രോഗ്രാം ക്രിസ്ത്യൻ്റെ അക്കാഡമി മാത്സ് അക്കാഡമിയുടെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് വരുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ അതുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ടിട്ടുള്ള താല്പര്യമുള്ള കുട്ടികൾക്ക് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഗൂഗിൾ ഫോം നമ്മൾ ഇന്നത്തെ ഒരു വീഡിയോയുടെ താഴെ അറ്റാച്ച് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ കോമെന്റ് സെഷൻ നോക്കിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റും അപ്പൊ ആ താല്പര്യമുള്ള കുട്ടികൾ അതൊന്ന് ഫില്ലപ്പ് ചെയ്തോളൂ അതിന്റെ ഫർദർ അപ്ഡേറ്റ്സും കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ നിങ്ങൾ അറിയിക്കും ആഫ്റ്റർ ദിസ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഓൺലൈൻ കേട്ടോ അപ്പൊ ഇതൊന്ന് ജസ്റ്റ് നിറഞ്ഞിരിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ശ്രമിക്കുക നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഭാവിയിൽ ഏത് കോമ്പറ്റീവ് എക്സാമിനേഷനും മാത്സ് ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നവർക്ക് ഉപയോഗിക്കാവുന്ന ഒന്നായിരിക്കും സോ ബാക്ക് ടു അവർ ഡിസ്കഷൻ Okay. Yeah, finally, uh, you guys have to understand that these topics are something very, very important. Don't miss out. And the exam day, let me uh, wind up our particular session by saying some of the very important final tips and things. Exam day tips, something very important, right? So regarding the exam day tips, I have to update you something very importantly. Regarding the preparation, arrive at the earliest in the center. Definitely your exam center has been announced by NTA, UGC. So arrive early in the examination center for what? To avoid the stress or tension. Carry necessary documents like a hall ticket, ID proof, photo, such kind of things. And have a calm mindset like this time definitely I will be clear in this examination. Just have that confidence always in your mind. And as I said, time management is also something very important. don't confident about yourself but you have to start with the confident questions the that is the start with the questions that you are confident about avoid spending too much time on difficult questions that's why i said if you are having some kind of issues with max and right interpretation put it for the last moment and finally you will be able to have at least 30 minutes of time for reviewing the questions every time for the last six times i have qualified in net examination i had every time at least 15 to 20 minutes minimum on an average on an average that means i know some of the questions that i will be able to answer but i know some of the questions i don't know answer but i'll be simply what bubbling because there is no negative mark so i have to bubble everything and all the six times in which i have cleared this net examination i have attempted 150 questions so make sure that you are following this method also so these are some of the do's and don'ts that you should have in your examination hall is that clear guys is that clear if that is clear i have one final word for you after that i'll be finishing today's particular session is that clear just to comment me is that clear yeah fine fine so dear students finally i have one word for you just cut the can option from the can from the do it uh, page like it is possible you can is not can and you can do it so believe in your preparation and stay confident stay confident like stay calm stay focused and over the last minute is stress this is something very important that's why i said focus on revision only and some kind of practices only don't go for taking all the notes and read from very, from the very scratch that is the uh, that is not the thing that you have to start, do it right now just to focus on doing something very important so believe in your preparation so far you had and stay confident that's only for now guys so hope today's paper one 
examination tips most important tips are were useful for your examination from all the members of team crystal we and i wish you a very all the best very all the best for your success journey guys that's all for today thank you thanks for joining just to share your feedback and comments in the comment section and also i request everyone to share this particular video as your whatsapp status and share with your net aspirants let them know let them also know about this particular particular tips and things and uh, improve in their preparation that's all guys thanks for joining today's session once again wish you great best wishes from team crystal and perform well thank you all thanks for joining